once you've had time to process it, you're a part of the biggest comeback in NFL history. How does that sound? That sounds sounds amazing. No, that was a, a crazy game, to say the least. Right-footed kick, it is good! And the Minnesota Vikings have completed the greatest comeback in the history of the National Football League. We've seen it a couple of times before, these comebacks. Uh, the Buffalo game comes to mind. You're on the sidelines for that one. What was it like being a spectator in that one as opposed to being emotionally playing in the game against the Colts? I don't know. I felt like I was going to have a heart attack throughout the whole game. It was, it was crazy. You know, um, when we got the fumble on the goal line, the EK picked it up for the touchdown and everything, and just going to overtime with the comeback and everything. It was. It was crazy, to say the least. Much better to be a part of it though, right? Most definitely. I mean, it was kind of strange for you, first of all, because it was the first time you'd ever missed time in your NFL career. How did you handle that? Uh, it was tough. I was like, the first week was super tough on me because, you know, it was my first time in the, in, in the league missing time. And I'm, um, you know, dealing with the injury, like a little nagging one, and I had to just be patient and work every day to get back from it. So it was tough at first, but, you know, I had to do what I had to do to get back on the field. Where'd you find the patience? Ah. Uh, a little bit everywhere. <laughs> My fiance was a big part of it, and um, you know, I always turn to video games too, so it helped out. <laughs> well, this run defense is sharpening up their skills for sure. They've not allowed. You guys haven't allowed a 100-plus yard rusher this mm -hmm. season. Oh, What's man. working so well for you guys? Oh, uh, you know, just the group of guys we have up front. You know, just like I said before, we're a gritty team, and uh, we just have a lot of guys who don't quit to the. There's no time left. Up next for you guys is Saquon Barkley, someone that you mm -hmm. spent a couple of years on. Yeah. What makes him so dangerous? Uh, yeah, I remember uh, Saquon as a rookie when I was in New York. Uh, just great guy, you know, just his athletic ability is amazing. And I just feel like he's continued to grow each and every game. So it's going to be a tough challenge for us, but I'm looking forward to it. What type of challenge is he? Uh, just uh, a challenge across the board because, you know, he can receive. Uh, yeah. I feel like he might end up trying to throw the ball or something, but, uh, you know. <laughs> and Saquon Barkley will take it into the end zone for a Giants touchdown, 54 yards. He could spin, juke, stiff arm, a little bit of everything. And like, yeah, I think he might be close to leading the team in reception yards too. So, you know, he can come out the backfield and be deadly anywhere. So, you know, he's a big uh, game changer. And, you know, you have to shut him down as much as possible. How much does it play in your head that this is a team that you used to play for? Uh, it, it, it plays every day simply because um, I remember the days I used to wear the New York on my helmet and everything and see the jerseys. And then like, uh, so a lot of guys still on the team I used to play with like Dexter Lawrence and Leonard Williams. And um, yeah, it's just, it's crazy. It feels like it's been a revenge tour for so many players this season, <laughs> and they've been able to get that revenge. Is that something? I know you're into gaming, you're into those kind of storylines. Are you hoping to get that revenge? Yeah, I feel like that's uh, every everybody wants to beat the team they were on before, and um, yeah, it's just I, I, I want I definitely want the dub this weekend, and um, yeah, it's just it's gonna be good to see the players and uh, the people in the organization as well, but also it's gonna be even better to go out there and get a win. The last time this team went through such an emotional game, Buffalo, the Dallas game was really tough, the next one. How do you avoid another, like a let, an emotional letdown like that? I'm just have to make sure you get back into the, uh, and back in the, you have 24 hours, like them used to say, you have 24 hours to celebrate, and then you have to start focusing on the next opponent. We have to make sure we just keep focus and what happened, happened, now we have to move on and uh, just make sure we execute the game plan the way we want to execute it. Let me set the stage for you real quick. Mm -hmm. We got Christmas Eve, a winter whiteout against your former team. What do you think that's gonna look like? Ah, it's gonna look amazing. <laughs> Just because uh, the whiteout's gonna be dope. Uh, I, I can imagine the skull chant. Uh, the opening kickoff is gonna be amazing with all the Vikings fans, and I'm, I'm looking forward to it.